Okay, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend Tarot. Can you guys see? Okay, yeah, it should be okay. It's, it's dark, but I'm kind of liking the sort of ambiance of the night right now because I just don't feel like having the light super bright. Um, it's a little bit later where I am located. I'm just going to keep the candles, hopefully, to brighten it up a bit. But we're doing a new read. Um, I see a lot of tarot readers doing this on their channels, and it's the all signs, how they feel for you. So I normally do the pick a card, but I'm going to do, we're going to go through all the signs. Um, and it's going to be short. I'm just going to pull two to three cards for each sign. <clears throat> we're going to find out how your person feels about you. Um, Actually, what I'll do is I'll do your energy towards them, their energy towards you. Um, keep in mind, this is general, so it may, not, may or may not resonate. Uh, check your sun, moon, and rising sign. Okay, and if someone can time stamp it down below, that would be amazing. Um, if you guys want to book something personal with me, as always, my information is down below in the description box, as well as access to my guided meditations and online courses. Okay. All right, so let's take a look and see. We're gonna start off with Aries. Hmm. Okay, so Aries, what are your feelings towards this person? So this could be someone that um, you're dealing with, maybe someone that you're not talking with, who knows? This is just whoever's on your mind. So your current feelings towards them. King of Pentacles in reverse, okay. You wanna talk, but Either, okay, so you want to talk, but you're not really wanting something committed with them. Maybe you just want to flirt with this person, is what it's telling me. Um, yeah, because I'm getting here, we have the, sorry you guys, it's going to be flipped because of the way I have the camera today. Uh, but I'm not going to be keeping the cards out anyway. So the energy that I'm seeing for you is you're not, to me it looks like you're not really wanting something committed with this person. Or you're not seeing it as something committed, but you just kind of want to flirt with this person is the vibe that I'm getting. Maybe that's where you're at right now, okay? So how they feel about you. Okay, how do they feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries? They want to move this along. So they want forward movement. So whoever you're dealing with, they do want to move the connection forward. Yeah, they fantasize about you. Seven of Cups, Aries. So this person that you're thinking about, they fantasize about you. They want to move the connection forward. Um, fast, I feel like. I feel like this person is ready to move it forward or they're willing to take action towards you. They fantasize about you. That's what I'm getting as the Seven of Cups. Okay. So quick re quick read tonight, guys. So we're going to move on to Taurus. Okay, so just little mini updates. So let's, let's see. Okay. So Taurus, what's your energy towards your person? What's your energy towards your person? What's your energy towards your person? You're stalking them. You guys are stalking this person. Page of Swords Universe, why is this here? You're stalking them because you want to communicate. Maybe you already are. If you're not communicating with them, you really, your energy towards your person, uh, Taurus, is that you really want to talk to your person, so you're stalking. You're actually, guys, I gotta say, you're kind of, I have, you're stalking this person. It's not just like a casual spying, it's like a deep stalking. Um, keep in mind, roles can be reversed, but that's what I'm getting. So how does your person feel about you, Taurus? How does your person feel about you? They're all, they want to talk too. Maybe you guys are already talking. If you're not talking, you guys both want to talk to each other. Yeah, oh my gosh, you guys, Taurus, you are literally mirroring each other. You're stalking them. They're obsessed with you. You guys are both obsessed with each other. Why are you even here right now? Why are you watching this reading? You guys are both obsessed with each other. You should just talk. I don't understand why you'd even be watching this because you're obsessed with them. They're obsessed with you. You both want to talk, okay? So that's Taurus. So let's take a look at Gemini. All right, Spirit, so tell me about Gemini. Okay, if you guys like this read, tell me, let me know if you want me to do all sign readings. So what is Gemini's energy towards their person? How do they feel about their person? How do Gemini's feel? <laughs> Okay, you want to apologize to this person or you're getting impatient about an apology. So you could be waiting for them to apologize to you about something and I feel like you're getting impatient about it. For some of you, you might want to apologize to them. Like maybe you know that you're in the wrong and you want to apologize and you're feeling like time is ticking or you should get apologizing to them. How do they feel about you? They, they want to be with you. Two of Cups. 
Gemini's, this person wants to be in a relationship with you. They are very attached, okay. <laughs> okay. Your person, they want a relationship with you, Gemini. Whoever you're thinking about, they want a relationship with you. They're very, uh, they're very attached to you. I was gonna say detached, but they're very attached to you. Maybe even a little codependent on you. I don't know if you know that, but they're very heavily attached to you. And I feel like they want a relationship or they wanna to come together with you, okay? All right, so let's move on to Cancer. All right, Spirit, so what's going on with Cancer? So how does Cancer feel about their person? How does Cancer feel about their person? So you guys are wanting something stable. Wow, look at that, two conflicting energies. Okay, two stories here. Either you want something committed, but you don't feel like you're getting it from them, or you're wishy-washy, you don't know. Like sometimes you want something committed, sometimes you don't. Okay, two storylines there. All right, Cancer, so how does your person feel about you? How does your person feel about you? Okay. This ended, I feel, with the world. I feel like the situation came to an end or there was some sort of closure, but they wanna reopen this again. Okay, so if you already had closure with this person or you guys shut the door in this connection, they wanna reopen it with an offer. Some of you, maybe they already made this offer and if they did, it's because they wanna reopen this. They wanna try it out again. They want a new shot. So yeah, some of you guys, maybe you already had a commit with this person in the past. Okay, you might have already been committed to this person in the past and that's why you're back and forth like, do I wanna do this again? Like, do I wanna go into a commitment with this person again? But I feel like their energy is, they know that a cycle has closed with you but I feel like they wanna reopen the door again. Okay. All right, so let's move on to Leo. Did I, oh, this is gonna be confusing. I'm like, did I already say, did I just do Leo? So hard to remember. I don't think I did. Let's go to Leo. If I already did Leo and I'm doing it twice, well, I guess there's two Leos that need to, um, maybe that, there's two different re Leo readings, but I don't think I did. But it's crazy how my short-term memory is. Okay, so let's take a look. So what is Leo, what are, what's your energy towards your person? What's your energy towards your person, Leo? Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? You guys are feeling rejected because of a third party. Okay, four of cups, three of pentacles. So the person that you're dealing with, they have someone else and because of this, you're feeling rejected. Okay, how do they feel about you? How does this person feel about you? Page of cups. They still have emotion for you, but they're indecisive. So you're right, you're definitely right that this person's got, a, well, you probably already know about the third party, but, um, Okay, for some of you guys, I'm getting, if you had a hunch that this person had a third party, you're right, okay? So if you were kind of like, why are they rejecting me or why are they not talking to me or whatever, it's because you're right, they are, they are involved with someone else or if someone else has their attention. They do have emotion for you, okay? So this person that you're thinking about, it's not that they don't have interest, they just don't have a lot of interest right now. I feel like it's kind of like, mm, they're indecisive about you and I feel like because of their indecision they're not communicating with you so then you could be feeling rejected but if you had a hunch that there's someone else you're right okay Leo's all right so let's move on to Virgo all right so what's going on with Virgo so what's going on with Virgo? okay so Virgo what's your energy towards your person how do you feel about your person Okay, <clears throat> you guys can't stop thinking about this person. Um, you're feeling really impatient. I feel like you want something to happen here. You can't get them out of your head. You can't stop thinking about them. Feeling really impatient, okay? Their energy towards you. What's their energy towards you? Okay, Virgo, so they have the King of Cups. Oh, okay. So, Virgo, the person that you're thinking about they're interested, um, they're interested in something casual with you, I will say that. Definitely interested, they're definitely attracted to you, they're definitely attracted to you. Um, 
but they're not emotionally available or it's like they know that they can't, they're not going to invest their heart into this. You know what I mean? It's kind of like they see the, they are very attracted to you and they could have like something casual with you. That's at least that's their current energy, but they feel like this isn't something that they would open up their heart to. And I don't know if it's because they just aren't ready or if it's just because they don't see it as that type of thing. They might not see you in that way. Um, or see the potential for it growing into that. So maybe there's less of an emotional connection, but definitely a physical attraction. Okay, Virgo. All right. So Libra, let's take a look at Libra. All right, Spirit. So tell me about Libra. So what's Libra's energy towards their person? Okay. What's Libra's energy towards their person? How do they feel about their person? The Nine of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. You're very happy with this person or you feel like you would be getting, you, you feel like this is a wish fulfillment with this Nine of Cups. This, this connection or this person makes you really happy. Um, um, for some of you guys, I feel like you want to take this slowly or you're okay taking it slowly. Like you feel like it makes you happy. And so because of that, you're not in a rush. You don't feel the need to rush this connection. Um, yeah, it's like you're happy with this person. You don't feel the need to rush it. Okay. All right, Libra. So what is your person's energy towards you? The six of wands. What's their energy towards you? Yeah, they're they're feeling very confident about this as well. So mm -hmm. they have so this is a mutual thing here. Whoever you're dealing with, um, Libra, this is a mutual thing. This is a balanced thing. This person is very confident about you. I feel like this person, for some of you, maybe you're famous or they're famous or someone is like pretty well known. Um, that's just a small message for some of you guys, but someone could have some sort of a little bit of fame. Uh, but there, trust me, this person's excited about you, very excited. And previous, so different from the last, the I think Virgo, I just did. Um, it was like the person had physical attraction, but not emotional. This person has physical attraction towards you and emotional attraction. So that's why they're really excited. It's like this person feels like um, they could be with you sexually, but they also would could see themselves being with you long term and investing in this on an emotional level, not just a sexual or physical level. So to me, if I'm being honest, all of the readings that I've done so far today, now I'm only about halfway done, but I feel like you guys have the most, um, from what I'm seeing here, it looks like you guys have the most potential for this to go and turn into something like a really good, long lasting type of relationship because the energy seems very mutual. Okay, not that the other readings were bad actually, but um, I'm just saying that that's what I see as the most potential. Okay, Scorpios. Scorpios, what's going on? Let's, <laughs> of course, the Queen of Wands comes out. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this. I know, I know Queen of Wands is a fire sign, but I guess it's kind of a personal thing. All right, <laughs> let's take a look at Scorpio. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay, so you, towards your person, we have the death card. We have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Wow. So this has ended, but you guys are, you have not let this go. Um, yeah, you're still a very, okay, so this person that you're thinking about, Scorpios, um, it's ended, okay? You have a lot of anxiety about this. Um, and with the Queen of Pentacles coming through in reverse, you guys are very heavily attached to this, okay? Hold on. Sorry guys, this thing popped up. I just wanna delete it. Okay. Yeah, so Scorpio, your energy towards this, you guys are freaking out about this because you feel like it's over and so you're stressed out. You're very emotionally attached to this person. What's their energy towards you, Scorpio? What's their energy towards you? Okay. Mm. Page of Wands with the Ten of Wands reversed. They still are open to communicating with you. So I do feel like if you were to talk to this person, I feel like they would still keep the window open. They would still be receptive to you. Um, but it's almost like this connection for some reason is taking a toll on both of you guys. Like with the 10 of wands, they're open to communicating, but it's how they feel is that this situation is as a burden or this situation is a lot of pressure or it's really heavy. Like it's a huge weight for this person. 
okay? That's how they're feeling. To be honest, what I'm seeing here is you guys are both kind of feeling like there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of stress that has been um, placed upon this connection. It's causing you stress and worry. It's causing them stress and worry. Okay, let's take a look at Sag, Sagittarius. So Sag, what's your energy towards your person, Sagittarius? Okay, what's your energy towards your person? Wow, the lovers. Okay, let's see, why do we have the lovers? Ooh, wow, Sagittarius, who did you find? We have the lovers and the king of wands. Okay, that's fiery. Okay, um, before, I would actually wanna see what your person's feeling towards you. This is interesting. I'll say that you guys feel very strongly towards this person. For a lot of you, you think that this is a soul partner. Um, you're extremely, extremely, out of all the piles, this is the most physical attraction, okay? Um, how do they feel about you? How does your person feel about, okay. They're hurt by you. They're heartbroken. They're still, they're still attached to you. They're still attached to you, but they're heartbroken. They're trying to heal from this. What went on here? Did you break this person's heart? There's, they're, they're hurt by something. So, Sag, um, <laughs> you guys are very excited about this person. So I'm getting here and you feel extremely excited about this person. You're very, very passionate. We have King of Wands, obviously fire sign here anyways, but um, I don't know what you did to this person or what happened, but they're still hurt. But it's they haven't moved on, so this person is like, they're, they're still trying to heal from whatever happened between the two of you, but they still care, they still love you, they're still there. They haven't gone anywhere emotionally, like this person is stuck on you. So it's like, I don't even get this person's open to anyone else because they're still stuck on you, okay? All right, Capricorn which is my sign. Oh. Um, let's take a look. So Capricorn, let's see here. For those of you who don't know, actually, I keep like all of my signs, my sun, moon, and rising sign are in my description uh, on YouTube, if you're curious. Okay, so let's take a look. So what are Capricorns? What are, uh, what are your feelings towards your person? The person that's on your mind. What are your feelings towards your person? What are your feelings? Three of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Cups. So you have emotions for this person, but you're withholding or you're staying safe. So I feel like what I'm getting with this, with the Three of Wands in Reverse and the Knight of Cups, I feel like you give a little and then withdraw. You give a little and then you withdraw. So this could be someone, I don't know if this is someone new or old, but your energy towards this person is like, you're excited about this person, you do have romantic feelings for them, and I feel like there's a part of you that wants to rush towards this person, but then you hold yourself back a little bit. And that I'm kind of getting like a, I give and then I hold back, or I give and then I withdraw a little bit. There's a bit of a hesitancy, okay? So your person's feelings towards you. What are your person's feelings towards you? The Nine of Pentacles the High Priestess, and the Sun, okay? Um, this person likes how independent you are. I feel like you come across as very mysterious, but they like this. They feel very happy about the connection. Um, there's something about this connection that feels very freeing to them. It's almost, it's interesting, because there's like a combination of mystery, but also a sense of freedom. Like this person feels like they could just be themselves with you, or this person feels like they have, they can maintain their freedom with you. Um, and then with the, the sun here, they're very happy about this. They feel happy about the connection, okay? All right, Capricorn, so let's move on to Aquarius. All right, Spirit, so tell me about Aquarius. Okay, tell me about Aquarius. So what's Aquarius' energy, feelings towards their person? Aquarius' energy towards their person. This page of wands has been coming out a lot tonight. So you guys are not sure if you should talk to them, reach out. Some of you are thinking about Aquarius, you guys are thinking about um, texting this person, reaching out, sending an email, whatever it may be, and I feel like you're on the fence about it. So you're like, ah, I don't know, should I? Ah, I want to, but should I? So what's their energy towards you? Okay, so they're not really putting any effort into this right now. Okay, they have doubts about this connection. Okay, they're not, so their energy, they're not working on this. They're not putting really much time or effort into this because either, I'm getting two things. Either they have doubts about you and the connection or they just have confidence issues. So you'll, you'll probably know what your story is. 
Either this person has a little bit of insecurities or doubts about themselves, they don't feel confident enough to put the work in. If you know that's not the case, then this is someone who's actually doubting the connection, like doubting the longevity of the connection, so they're just not putting the work in. So I'm gonna say it's likely that uh, Aquarius, you guys are not talking right now, and that's why you're trying to decide if you should communicate. I don't think this person is too open to it right now, okay, if I'm being honest. All right, so let's take a look at Pisces, last sign of the night. All right, Spirit, tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. What's Pisces energy towards their person? What's Pisces energy towards their person? The Emperor. Oh, talk about control issues. Oh, sorry, that one just fell on the ground. We have the King of Wands reverse. And we have the Emperor upright. You guys are trying to control this person, and you might say, no, I'm not, but the vibe that I'm getting from this is like, you might not realize that you you can come off as controlling, or it's almost like you might have a different way of controlling the situation. So like, some people can be controlling, but they don't realize it. It's like they, it's um, a lot of like feminine energy will think that they're not controlling, but they do control in their own ways. It just might not be the same way that a masculine would control, right? Um, like just an example, I'm not saying this is you, but like a way that um, more of a feminine energy can control is like through whining or um, you know playing mind games, all of that to kind of get their way. So just be aware of that. I feel like your energy towards this person is you're trying to control the situation. Maybe some of you guys feel out of control or maybe you feel a loss of control. So you're trying to regain the power here a little bit. Take it how it resonates. Okay, so Pisces, what's their energy towards you? What's their energy towards you, the King of Cups? Yeah, I think a lot of you guys are feeling like this person is not offering you a lot and you have a lot of emotion for them. So it's almost like you're trying to get them to, to give you more through manipulative tactics or through control tactics, whether that's like mind games or um, silent treatments, I don't know what it is, but you guys have some sort of control tactics and the reason why you're doing it is because this person is offering you very little and the reason why they're doing that is because they're not available. This person will give you what they have is what I'm getting. So they will offer things to you. Like I feel like they would reach out to you or they would um, hang out with you or give you some of their time and energy, but it's they don't have very much for you. Like it's not even a matter of wanting to, it's more a matter of they don't, they can't. Like they don't have much to offer you because they're so emotionally unavailable. Um, I just heard that some of them haven't healed from a past relationship so it's like they can't really open up to you or they're just at this point in their life where they're not really wanting the same thing okay um also another message be careful about pushing this person because the more you push this person the more they're going to retreat from you is what i'm hearing like the more emotionally unavailable they're going to seem and then i feel like the more you're going to want to control and then the worse it's going to unravel okay all right pisces so I hope that was helpful guys. So that's the end of the All Signs reading. Please let me know if you enjoyed it. Um, but I'm sending you absolute love and light and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.